My name, first of all, my name is Aya Osama, and I'm going to present about embryonic connective tissue. But before I start, I would just like to give you a flashback about the word connective tissue itself. What do we mean by connective tissue? As we all know that the cells are the structural and the functional unit of all living organisms. A group of cells would make a group of tissues, a group of tissues would make organs, systems, and so on. However, we also know that there are four main types of connective tissue, epithelial, four main types of tissues, uh, epithelial, muscular, connective tissue, and the skeletal uh, uh, tissue. Today we are going to specialize about the connective tissue. The connective tissue itself is a fibrous tissue. It is one of the four traditional classes, uh, as I have mentioned earlier. Uh, uh, however, it's one of the most abundant tissues in our body. In fact, the whole framework of the skeleton and the different specialized connective tissues inside the body, from the crown of the head till the toes, form the entity or act as an entity inside the body. Now, as we see here, everything in nature is formed of some components, just like this pen is formed of a cap and ink inside through which we write. So does the, uh, uh, the connective tissue. It's formed of three main components, cells, fibers, through which they swim inside an extracellular matrix. Now, another question that you might be wondering about is uh, how is it produced? The fibroblasts are the cells responsible for the production of the uh, uh, connective tissue. Now, the connective tissue makes up a variety of physical structures, including tendons, uh, muscles, bones, blood, uh, uh, ligament, uh, the, the ligaments connecting the joints together, and one of the most famous one of them is the areolar connective tissue. Uh, the cartilage is also very famous. Uh, uh, now, one of the most uh, common disorders uh, uh, widely seen is the scurvy, which is caused by a dietary deficiency uh, 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 due to uh, less vitamin C inside the body, which leads to abnormal levels of collagen. Now, just an overview of what do we, uh, of the functions of connective tissue, storage, protection, uh, uh, framework, and connection. Of course, storage of the body, uh, storage for, uh, of energy, which uh, provides an insulation for our body, and protection of the internal organs to prevent them from moving uh, uh, insi uh, uh, inside. And it provides a structural and a framework for the body. Your, your shape, the shape of the body, that's how the connective tissue acts uh, inside. Uh, and lastly, is the, that it connects the body tissues together. Now, uh, I'd just like to show you a very simple uh, video about a loose area of connective tissue. A very simple picture. You see here, this is the ground substance. The ground substance, this is a connective tissue. Uh, uh, it is formed of uh, several structures. You see here, these are the spaces over here. These are the ground substance. This is a mast cell, collagen fibers, macrophage. These are the fibroblasts the blood supply, a fat cell, and these thin are, this is the reticulum, nerve cell, the plasma cell. This is another type. It's also an areolar connective tissue. As we see here, it forms a, a cautioning around the blood vessels, muscles, uh, nerves, and so on. This is another type. It's a tendon, and it's a disc connective tissue. These are collagen fibers. Those are the fibroblasts in the ground substance. And lastly is the adipose connective tissue. Uh, uh, the adipose tissue is, you can see here, those are fat cells and they provide insulation for the body. Now, the connective tissue itself is divided into three main types. Embryonic, proper, and the lastly is the uh, um, we will talk about the embryonic mainly, embryonic connective tissue. It is formed of mesenchyme and mucoid connective tissue. And now Amira Ahmed is going to present the rest of the presentation.
الاخر مش دلوقتي ما هم اه اه
So some cells in our body secrete specific protein to signal those, these undifferentiated mesenchymal cells to form new neutrophils. As you can see right now, the protein is secreted from our cells and going to signal the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells in the bone marrow. These proteins contain, have a special name, which is granulocyte colony stimulating factor. As you can see, they are now stimulating the undifferentiated, uh, uh, undifferentiated mesenchymal cells and giving the, the signal to differentiate into a special type, which is the neutrophil, mainly. This process takes mm -hmm. almost 10 days, and it happens for, uh, at two stages. The first stage, as we are going to see right now, that the cells are going to divide multiple times. As you can see, to give us the maximum number of neutrophils that can be done this time. This stage takes almost six days. And the second stage is developing, uh, is developing the, the specific shape of the nucleus and becoming a mature neutrophil. This process takes three days. Now the, uh, the neutrophils are ready to circulate in our, in our blood circulation and to defend us against bacteria and infections. Thanks a lot, everybody, and now my friend. <laughs> So we can say it is composed mainly of bone substance with few cells or fibers. Uh, we can find the car connective tissue in mammalian in, in umbilical cords during tissue development. It can also be referred to a group of mucoproteins found in certain types of cysts resembling mucus. Uh, and we can